Hi, I'm Amy Gunderson with Universal Yarn and welcome to our video. We are kicking off a, uh, an Afghan knit along and we're calling it the Don't Be Square Knit Along because it's going to be a lot of fun. And so over the next 10 months or so, we are going to be doing 20 different Afghan squares and each month we'll be focusing on a different technique. And so one month might be lace, another month cables, we'll do some color work, we'll do some applied elements, and we might do a little crochet, but not too much, just a little, just like just a little bit. You know, it can be it can be a great complement to knitting, so don't don't turn off the video, we're not done yet. Um so yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. We're gonna learn some new stuff. I think there's gonna be things for beginners, there's going to be things for pe for experienced people, you can always learn something new. Even if you know everything there is to know, I think it's still going to be loads of fun, and you're going to have a pretty afghan at the end of it. So we're going to kick things off today with intarsia. Have you ever heard that word intarsia? Does it scare you? Don't let it. It's no big deal. It's So what intarsia is, is changing color and knitting. And it's different than fair isle or stranded knitting where you carry two colors or three colors or more for crazy people along at the same time. Uh, but with intarsia, you're actually only working with one color at a time. So you like knit along with one color, you change to another color, it's pretty much as simple as that. Well, not quite, but pretty much. So we're going to do some of that today. You're going to watch me do it, we're going to talk about it. You should grab some yarn and join in. Um, so yeah, there's that. We're going to start with that. And the first block of the Afghan knit along is going to be an intarsia block. Pretty simple block, and then the second block will sort of expand on the skills you've learned with the first block. So without further ado, let's get knitting! So welcome back. I know you probably didn't go anywhere, but I did. So we're all back now and we're going to do some intarsia. Um, I started off with just a little garter stitch here. This is how all of the blocks in the afghan are going to have a little bit of a garter stitch edging on all the sides. So everything lays nice and flat and be sure to stay tuned in the next few months we'll be doing a great little video on seaming garter stitch. But for now we're doing intarsia, so I've just worked halfway across the row in my first color. I'm going to drop that down, pick up the new color, and start knitting with that. Simple as that. You'll see in the back right now they're just kind of hanging out side by side. back to it. I'm going to leave a little garter stitch on the sides and then continue in stockinette for most of the block. So I'm going to work right back up to that first color switch there. And so this is this is where you have to pay attention. So when you are changing from one color to the next color, I'm going to call this the old color because I was just knitting with it, and I'm going to change to the new color, which is the cream. So I'm going to lay the old color kind of on top of the new color, bring the new color up and around. That puts a little link in them, just like that. And that's going to prevent any holes from forming on the right side of the fabric. So just tuck my little tail down there. You can. We'll worry about that part later, uh, but for now, so they're all linked just like that, and I'm going to work back with this new color. Okay, so here's how we're looking so far. And on the front, you can see there's a tiny little hole there from where we initially brought in the blue, but we're gonna, we can weave that in later, so no big deal. So do a couple more rows here just to get a feel for things. Right now I'm just going to be doing a simple vertical color change. 
so I'm always going to work back to the exact stitch and the exact color, white on white, blue on blue. So here we're doing the same thing. I'm taking the old color, which is now the cream. Turn this over so you can see it. Old color, which is the cream. New color, which is the blue. Or no, sorry. Vice versa. New color, which is the blue. Bring it up and around the old color. Bring the old color over, kind of linking that new color just like that. Same deal as before. Start working along with the new color. Tug my tail down there a little bit. Just keep going. And here is how we are looking so far. Pretty good. And so always remember to be linking your yarns on the wrong side of the work so those don't show up on the right side. And, you know, just be consistent about it. Just be consistent about the way you're twisting the yarns. So you'll have a nice, nice, neat looking back side of your work. Link in the yarns. So as you're going along, you might feel the urge to be constantly sort of tightening up the yarns you were just using. You know, feel free, but it's really not a big deal because when you come back to it on the next row, you can always tighten it up just a little bit as needed. So. Pretty much all there is to it and you just keep going and going and going. So. That's Intarsia, part one.